Coplock.org. Meet Paul Brown. Last Friday, he was working in the basement of his Beach Park, Illinois home when he heard a loud crash. He ran upstairs and was greeted by an intruder who was holding a gun, pointing at him, who was backed up by friends similarly armed. For the next two hours, Brown and his family were held hostage, not free to leave nor able to drive from their home the marauding band. Brown says his unwelcome guests gave each other high fives and fist bumps during the rampage. The assailants who broke in wore badges. They work at Lake County's Metropolitan Enforcement Group, and they said they were looking for drugs. A mere 10 minutes before Brown had run upstairs, his stepson, who lived in the house, had accepted a package from a post office employee. After realizing the package was addressed to somebody else, it was left unopened and placed in the foyer of the front room. That's the known extent of the Browns' involvement. A package was accepted. And for that, their house was raided, they had guns pointed at them, and the property was destroyed. Thus far, the employees of the Metropolitan Enforcement Group haven't made right to Mr. Brown and his family. They haven't apologized. They haven't fixed his door. Hell, they haven't even returned his calls, nor calls from local media outlets. And the search warrant that was given to Brown's 77-year-old mom, who was present in the house and subjected to the whole ordeal, listed another address in a neighboring town. It sounds to me like the employees of the Metropolitan Enforcement Group have some explaining to do. Hey, Kenny Mac. Yeah, hi, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from my records, but I was hoping to talk to somebody about the incident that happened last Friday to the Browns. Um, there, nobody can discuss, it's an ongoing investigation, nobody can discuss anything with anyone. Okay, do, can you tell me who's doing the investigation? What do you mean? Who's conducting? Our unit. So your own unit is investigating itself? No, we're, there's an investigation with, with the Browns. It's an ongoing investigation, so nothing can be discussed. Right, but I guess my question is, are the people who broke into their house, are they being investigated? They're the police. Hello, ma'am? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I said, they're the police. They're doing the investigating against the Brown. Okay. Um, because, from, I, I, you know, I'll admit I'm not on the ground. I don't have all the information myself, but from what I've... Well, that's because what they wrote in the paper was all lies because it was coming from Mr. Brown's mouth. And the newspaper published that on his behalf without having any facts. Well, I, I mean, what if it, it sounds like you're a bit agitated about it, which I can if it's if it's. Well, that's because we got about a hundred calls because of them putting our number in the paper, and it's a little ridiculous. Well, if there was somebody I could talk to, maybe it could help dispel some of the and get some of the no, facts out no. there. No, like I said, it cannot be discussed because it's an ongoing investigation. How about the policy involved and the the tactics that were employed in terms of the? Um, it was all legal. We had search warrants, and everything, so. What they said in the paper was all a lie. It was all legal, everything that was done. Uh, is, I guess I'm curious as to how, like, uh, a package... I mean... If, I'm, it can't be discussed. Ma'am? Is there someone I could talk with that would discuss it? Hung up on. Real accountable. I hope people in Lake County stop paying these folks salary. <laughs> I know I wouldn't be paying them. They're not doing anything good. If they had nothing to hide, then why not just bring the facts? Why not put the facts out right away? Why not do damage control? Why not say, actually, we did not operate in the wrong, as they claim happened thanks to the newspaper. But it seems pretty telling to me um, if... People are, if an individual is accused of doing something something wrong, but then fails to vindicate themselves with information and facts that they claim exist, that they, um, you know, are in the wrong. And uh, they're probably just not used to getting this amount of heat, this amount of pushback. But it's good to hear that they've gotten over 100 calls already. So I encourage you guys to call them. Uh, if you, again, it's a Lake County Metropolitan Enforcement Group. This is in uh, Lake County, Illinois, just north of Chicago. 
and their phone number I'll put here on the video is 847-680-8720. And the Lake County Metro Enforcement Group, it says a multi-jurisdictional law enforcement task force concentrating in legal drugs, gangs, and weapons. So, you know, it's, it's uh, some people who have, uh, who operate and subsist and, you know, take their checks home because of this bad policy called drug prohibition that says certain groups of people get to decide what other people can put in their body. And it's ridiculous because it totally usurps the idea of self-ownership in that you own yourself and I own myself and we're free to act as long as we don't hurt anybody. Uh, so these folks that at the Met Metropolitan Enforcement Group that raided the Browns' house, uh, you know, they're operating, their incentive is to raid more people, is to say more substances are illegal so then they can arrest more folks and cage more folks and get more toys and, you know, their incentive is not to please their customer base. They claim their customers, uh, you know, their customers per se, they don't have any choice in being their customers. They say everybody who lives in this county has to give us money or else. And the or else is the implied threat of a cage if uh, they're not paid. And if one of those people is to resist, uh, you know, most folks would say defensively, um, then, you know, they could be met. It could be, a, it could be you know, something even far worse. So I just encourage you all think about this whole charade. Uh, if you don't agree with what's going on in Lake County, if you don't agree with what's going on in your own area, um, you know, it's good to get out there and talk about it, but it's even better to get out and, and try to uh, come up with some alternative solutions, especially uh, holding the individuals accountable who did the wrong. So instead of the newspaper uh, even saying, these Lake County uh, MEG officers uh, did this, uh, name their names and um, print where they live. People should know. People are responsible for their actions. The people that broke into the Browns house and did these things uh, don't get a free pass because of where they happen to work. It would be just as wrong for me and a group of my friends to break into somebody's house, point guns at them, steal their stuff, and then say, oh, too bad, you know, not our problem. But that's ex exactly what you're getting from these folks, and they have no ex they have no ability, no uh, legitimacy that gives them any extra rights than me and my friends would have, or than you and your friends would have to do such things. You know, they claim they have such rights because they wear a badge, because they call themselves authorities, but they're not authorities to me, and I hope they're not authorities to you. They're they're claimed authorities. I hope you look to yourself and people that inspire you as authorities, and start living your own life. And stop looking at these kind of crooks that essentially are just criminals. They run criminal outfits. You look at the definition of what organized crime is and, <laughs> you know, police departments and, and their ilk fit the uh, definition perfectly. So I encourage you to think about that because, you know, look at where we're at today where there's thousands of these kind of raids happen all the time now. Um, and I know I don't want to live in a society where I have to fear such things. I know I don't go around hurting people. I shouldn't have to fear folks breaking into my house like uh, more and more folks are unfortunately have happened to them because of these flawed policies and these, these bad ideas of external authority. So uh, I guess that's enough ranting for now, but uh, appreciate your time and uh, think, act, and live free. Peace.